Hey Parker, I hope you had an awesome Christmas. I know I did. So today I went to the Smithsonian. There's gonna be a longer video coming Thursday, but it's late and I just got home. So uh, we're just gonna do a quick thing. The Smithsonian, I got to see like one of my favorite objects in the entire world and definitely like potentially my favorite rock. I won't say my favorite, but one of them. I got to see the Hope Diamond. Now I like to think everyone has heard of the Hope Diamond, but I know that's definitely not true. So I'm gonna quickly just summarize it. The Hope Diamond is basically one of the, like, a very large 44, 45 carat diamond that's, like, blue. Um, it's, like, a real deep royal blue color, and it's pretty. It's a very pretty diamond, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Now, another thing about this diamond is that everyone says it's cursed. Um, do we have any, uh, proof that the diamond is cursed? As in, like, is there definitely ill will following this diamond? know. Uh, pretty much the general consensus is that it's like just word of mouth and just people gossiping that say that the diamond is cursed. For example, no one can really prove any of the curses that went along with it, but whatever. A lot of people just think that it's some sort of like grand marketing scheme to get the diamond to be worth more money, which is kind of hard at this point because it's worth $200 million and I don't think the Smithsonian's gonna give it up anytime soon. A lot of people say that it started as the eye of an idol, an Indian uh, goddess. And after this, there's a, just a long lines of things, like I'm gonna read, committed suicide, killed by revolutionists, murdered by a sweetheart, thrown from a precipice along with his wife and young child, imprisoned and tortured, hanged, hanged torn to pieces by wild dogs in Constantinople, that sort of thing. But there's no proof in all of this. Um, we know that numerous kings have worn the Hope Diamond and have possessed it. And there's just so much surrounding this diamond, such as owners who supposedly hid it and invited children to find it, uh, find the hope. There are even stories that Marie Antoinette tried to pawn off the diamond in order to stay her execution or tried to use it in order to get out of her execution and that her being executed as a side effect of the curse of the diamond. But again, pretty much 99% of the cursed instances that happen with the diamond have any sort of real bearing or history that we can figure out. And so Parker, I am just so happy that I got to see like my favorite rock this is the second time i've gotten to see it i just love the entire smithsonian's exhibit on like rocks and gems because i was that weird kid who collected like boxes of rocks because that was what i did with my time but anyway that's my video for today there's gonna be a better one on thursday where i detail like all my little shenanigans in the smithsonian because those are like the best museums i don't know if you've ever gotten a chance but if you're ever in dc go to them i love them i've been there like five times in the past five years now i make it a true i definitely make sure to go once a year just because i absolutely love them and uh yeah that's my video uh but dftba stay super you would definitely be an awesome co-host on dear parker and hank i will see you tomorrow bye Ooh.